Hey guys, it's Giovanni. How's it going? So today we are getting a first impression look at the Huhu, the parent bag version two. So you may remember that about a year ago, I reviewed and did a first impression of this bag, which is the Huhu V1. And if you remember the story, uh, Meng Li is a bag enthusiast and she was looking for a bag that would be a, parent, a great parent bag, but that once the kids got out of the kid phase or the parent bag phase, that, they, that this bag would be something that they could take with them to work, to travel and so forth. So she set out to create something that could uh, straddle both those use cases. So one would be a diaper bag for parents and kids, and the other would be for the parents to be able to take to work, to be able to travel with, or just to just use it as a everyday just backpack. So this one here is the V1. I've already done a video on this, just so you can see the difference just in the front of these two bags. So V1, so just to look at the back here and the back of this one. So already you see some differences. So let me put this one away because I've already gone at length as to what the V1 does, but this one is the V2. It is on pre-order, so if it is something that you're interested in, give, give it a look. Just as a brief story, uh, Meng and I have talked for a little while about different bags. She's a bag enthusiast. That's where she got her start from. So this isn't a person who has a lengthy career in just creating bags. She's not been in the industry. She's someone that just loves bags. And she had seen some of the stuff that I'd done with for Carryology when it came to dad bags. And she reached out to me. So we've been talking ever since. And she's, you know, allowed me to be privy to some of the design elements of the bag and some of the things that have been going on with how to create this second version. So new for V2 is quite a lot of stuff. So for instance, the color. When I took this bag out of its plastic, both my wife and I were like, nice. This is a great looking color. It's not the most masculine color, right? But if you are a mom, this would look great on you. And if you're a guy who doesn't mind this beige sand, I forget what, what the actual name that she told me what, it, what the name of the color is, but I think, it, I think of it like more of like a sand color. This could look really nice. I have no, I personally don't have any issues with it. So one of the first things when I held on to this bag was the quality feel of it. One of the issues that I had with the V1 is that when you touch the outside of it, the material didn't feel super high quality. But this one, this one feels great. I, I actually, it's kind of akin to holding some of Peak Design's stuff. It just has like a very premium feel to it. I mean, this is brand new, so it's not soft. So there's like a little bit of firmness to, to the material. But overall, you look at this bag and you, you think this is premium. So here you see that the, the logo is a little toned down. Now it has like this nice little patch looking a uh, square, it's really nice, very classy, I really like it. In the front, there is now this push mechanism for in, if I'm not mistaken, it's a Wujin magic clip, but it's a Wujin piece of hardware. So here, you, this opens up, that's still like the same type of function as, as the first version. And then here you have like this little meshy drop pocket, which also feels really nice. And there's magnets. I didn't even realize that. There's magnets here. Awesome. Really nice uh, design detail. So little drop pocket here. The mesh feels like Bellroy mesh, which if you are an enthusiast, you know that Bellroy mesh is some of the best. This feels kind of like Bellroy mesh, which is really nice. You notice that the inside is bright. It's not orange. Thank God it's not orange. I'm so, I'm so tired of orange all the time, everywhere, forever. It's not orange, it's this bright blue, which is, is really nice. But before we get into the internals of it, it's packed with a bunch of my daughter's stuff. So to, 
to preface what I'm going to say for this bag and how I packed it out, my daughter is already past the diaper stage. So lately, whenever we're going out, I just need to take like a little lunchbox and a bottle of water. And that's about it. It may be a change of clothes, perhaps. So it doesn't really require a lot. But we are going on a three-week trip soon. And this is going to be the parent bag that we're taking. So my wife is primarily going to be the one to be using this bag, but it is going to be specifically used for my daughter's stuff. So let's go into some of the differences. So here you have, instead of like that hidden fidlock that they had in the V1, you have this push clasp from Mujin. Um, the, the branding is a little toned down. The zipper pools are like these hexagonal zipper pools. I, <laughs> I really dig it, I, I like it. Um, each side has a water pocket, a water bottle pocket. You can see here my daughter's uh, bottle pocket or a bottle. And then he, this is something that's interesting. They have this, she has this area here that goes into the main compartment. It shares volume with the main compartment, but it allows a person to, let's say that your kid, you went to the beach or the pool, or maybe your kid had an accident and you need a place to put some stuff. This would be a place where you can put that in and then also, let's say that you just want to store something but not have to open up the main compartment of the bag, you have like this side compartment that is isolated from everything else. And I kind of, I, I like that idea that yes, it shares volume with the main compartment and that's fine, but it's isolated to itself. So whatever it is, dirty clothes, wet clothes, could be food, doesn't matter. It's isolated, won't affect everything else that's in here, and you can get it side access, which I thought was a, a neat little idea. A neat little idea. Here you have this aluminum, it's um, airplane or airplane grade aluminum. Um, really nice, has a really nice hand feel, feels nice and sturdy. Uh, you have like this small pocket here, and this pocket is interesting, and I'm gonna show you why in a second. It's, it's kind of small. You could probably grab some wipes or maybe even put your phone here. But what's interesting is that you could get into this pocket from the main compartment. And I thought that was kind of cool. And I'll show that in a second. On the other side, there is a, another small pocket. For me, I would probably put Skittles in here as, as I normally do, but you can put some stuff in here, maybe your phone or a wallet, uh, some keys. Uh, you could put a, a few things in there as well. In the top is a quick access pocket, which is here in the top flap. And there is a key leash, which is funny because you guys know how I feel about key leashes. When my wife was going through the bag, she was like, ooh, a key leash. This is super useful. And I was just like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> So anyways, uh, nice quick access pocket there. Back panel. One of the complaints that I had about the V1 was that there wasn't a lot of padding in the back panel. It was just kind of like a flat sheet of fabric. So here we see um, some ergonomics here. You have a nice like lumbar padding, you have some shoulder support, air channel. Air channels, perhaps the utility of air channels is dubious. It depends on how you feel about it, but I like that this is included in here. It does make for a bit more comfort than the V1. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how my wife feels about it. And then for me, when, when we start traveling around with it. Another thing that I had issues with in the V1 was that the top strap felt a little cheap. This here, it's, yeah, it's, it's webbing that's folded in on itself, but it actually feels, if I'm not mistaken, it actually feels like there's a strip of padding inside that it's not just folded over webbing, but they actually folded the webbing over a thin piece of padding. It feels really nice in hand. So it's little details that come from someone who's a bag enthusiast and has been using bags for a long time. It's like these little nuances and details that over time you just start saying, yeah, I would like this to be better. And they just went, away, they just went and made their own bag. And it's like, it's kind of awesome. All right, let's go in the inside real quick. So bright blue, 
But then we have these two zippers and you have access for easy packing, easy storage. Reminds me a little bit of the Bellroy Apex. And then if you go a little further, this also reminds me a bit of the Bellroy Apex. You have like these pockets here. So this is my daughter's first aid kit. And remember this pocket that I told you you can get to from the outside? So you can put some wipes in here and you have access to it from the outside and the inside. So interesting little feature. There is a laptop compartment here, which is really nice. There is another pocket, mesh pocket here, which, is, which has like the changing pad. We don't really use changing pads anymore, but this is something, this is a place that you can put that or anything else. Lots of capacity here. So uh, the Hoo Hoo bag comes with, I don't know if it comes with specifically, you have to order it extra, but part of the package is these containers for food and snacks and different things. And which, what's kind of cool is at first I thought, man, a clear container, I'm not sure how I feel about that. But once we actually started using it with the V1, we really liked being able to be like, oh, okay, this is what's in here and knowing where everything was. But if you don't want people knowing what's in the bag, there's actually a plastic divider here where you can hide what the contents of the bag actually are. So kind of a nice little feature there. What else do I have? Um, utility pouch. This is like a topo design canvas pouch. Really like this. But this has like a bunch of stuff like some um, dry bags. It has a little emergency blanket, uh, a couple other things in here as well. And then that's about it for now. That's kind of what I, what, I, what I wanted to show. But you can see the capacity here in this bag. And this is that, that dry sack that shares the, the capacity of the, main, of the main capacity here. What you can do is when you're not using this, let's say you don't really need to isolate anything. You really don't need side access for anything. You can just smush this down and it doesn't even take up any space. So I'm really excited to use this because I think that this hits all the marks for an excellent parent bag. I'm so tired, and I was actually commenting to my wife this weekend that the folks who made the Rivalino bags on Amazon, they flooded the market with, with, with trash, right? It's a bag that looks ugly. It has a ton of pockets that, that are just ugly. It looks bad on people. It doesn't really pass the test of time. And yeah, they're cheap because they're trash. But really, you could spend just a tiny bit more money and get a bag that looks beautiful like this. And that honestly, if you don't have kids stuff in here, you're just traveling or you're going to work you know what? Nobody's going to tell you, oh yeah, that's a parent bag for sure. No, this doesn't look like that. This looks like a professional bag. Yeah, it does have some parent specific niceties to it, but overall, this just looks like a professional EDC bag that a person would be using. So right now, as of this filming, the bag is in pre-order. And if you want, I'm going to put a link to the pre-order page in the, in, down in the description. To be clear, I don't get any commission from this. I'm not an affiliate. If you decide to pre-order, Meng is not going to know it came from me. Why am I doing this first impression? Really? It's because I think this is a great product, personally. And also... Uh, I think Meng is, is awesome. You know, sometimes you meet somebody within like your hobby, within your, your subculture that you just get along with really well. And I, I you know, I think Meng, Meng's cool. She's, she's good people. And I think that the design is great. She's taken a lot of feedback from the V1 and applied it to V2. And you can see that this is just another level of bag for parents, for kids, or even for professionals. So if you are in that stage where you are looking for a bag because you're about to have a kid, you have a kid, 
or you're just looking for a nice bag in general, maybe things that you that, that are out in the market right now don't really mesh with you, you know what, give, give this bag a look. You'd be supporting a small maker and you'd be supporting her dreams of uh, making this a career. So give it a look. All right, guys, if you have any questions, uh, let me know and I'll be sure to answer them in the comments. All right, take it easy.